What's going on, YouTube? It's your boys, DT Tech Twins, back with another video. All right, guys, we back at it yet again. It is Samsung season. We got the, zip, the all the Samsung products that came out. We got the Flip 4, we got the Fold 4, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, and we got the uh, new uh, Galaxy Watch 5. So, um, but getting into, getting into this video, guys, this is just gonna be our first impressions and a little bit of a review of the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 4. And without further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So guys, just basically, quick unboxing about everything. Um, when you um, get this phone in the box, you, when you open it, introduce to you with the brand, the brand new Fold 4. You lift that up, and of course, you got your. You uh, take the box out with all of your um, your other gadgets, like you got your quick start uh, guide and all your paperwork and everything that comes with that. You got your little pin to put in, you know, to use pin tool to use with your SIM card to in, uh, install it and all that good stuff. And then finally, you're just gonna get your Type C to Type C cable. Man, like the only thing I, I really hate that they remove the the brick off of yeah, those. Man, like true. that's the one thing you really need. Like now we got like a hundred of type c to type c cables like it's crazy all right guys so just jumping right into it this phone is just basically just an improved version of the fold 3 it's more refined it's a lot more i would say like a smooth but edgy design design nice. on it this is a really nice phone yeah, and we're, we're coming out with a video too soon. You guys just doing a direct comparison between um, the Fold 3 versus the Fold 4. If you guys want to check that out, the um, link will be in the description below. But yeah, guys, talking just a little bit about this Fold 4, just um, what they, in areas that they improved on. They did have, they do have a lot um, slimmer on the hinge part of things. Yeah, the, the hinge, really, like you could feel it. Like comparing it to the the, the three, three and then the four, it's a lot like strong. It, it's a lot stronger. Like it's, yeah, yeah, it's it's like slightly stronger. Like they're getting better and better. Like it, that closing is getting more and more satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and going into the um the bezel on the front screen. It's still doing 120 hertz and everything, which is great. Just like the Fold 3, they did make the bezel, the bezel uh, um, smaller than the, um, its predecessor as well, which is great. It looks a lot, it looks better, a lot better. It's a lot more, it looks a lot more slimmer in the front. And then on the like last year, the yeah, last year things, I know the back of the phone on the Fold 3, it was it had a matte finish with the Fold 4. This is pretty much the same case, but on the side of the phone where the bezel is at, it's like more of a glossy type finish whereas the fold 3 was like doing it was like a more matte type of finish but um other than that guys they do have a stronger stronger um gorilla glass in the front of the, the phone moving on into the inside of the phone guys really like i said it's all the specs is pretty much the same it's just a slightly better in certain areas like i know um they're using that snapdragon uh 8 plus gen uh, gen 1 chip and then um, the battery is exactly the same as well, the uh, 4400 4, um, milliamp power um, milliamp battery. So, and as far as what the price goes, it's still sitting at that whopping 1799, uh, which is crazy for a phone. Like most, the TV costs more than what some TVs that we have, high end TVs, right? <laughs> Moving on from that, it is a slightly better advantage as well as far as for like the camera goes. It's not the it's not the best, like you know, like what's out there with the um, the Samsung. S22 Ultra and um, other like flat main flagship phones and everything, but it is slightly better than its predecessor of the Fold 3. It has a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and then the three times uh, telephoto um, lens on it. So slight, like again, slightly better than than its, its predecessor. But of course, like with the front camera. It's the, really the only thing that's better on it is that they that the LED how they, they how they hide the camera. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much the only thing that they made better about it. But as, as far as like the overall like overall um, look of it, it just it looks pretty much the same as the full three. It's not much difference there when it comes to like the the, the front yeah. face facing camera on the main screen and then on the inside display. Yeah. So, but you, you still, I mean, you, you can still tell it's not like there. Like, if yeah, you actually, if you actually don't pay attention to it, like it's not, like it's not even. There. Yeah, it does a lot. It does a lot better job with so, the four, full four this time around. I always like, yeah. And finally, guys, one of the main other feature that we want to talk about is 
um, the feature where like you have when you're, if you're at the home button, you have all of your features that's at the bottom, like you know your your um, phone, messaging, Chrome, all that, and you can customize it. But when you when you tap any of these um, apps. Like all that the stuff shrinks down and you can open your your previous it turns into like a multitask bar. So you can open yeah. previous previous taps tabs. Yeah. And I think the with most this. used things are down there too, like the most apps the apps that you use the most. Yeah. Are down there too. Down there and then you can actually, you know, set them. You can throw you can throw certain apps up there to activate uh, multitask mode. So you yeah, can yeah, have two yeah. things up there at once, three things up there at once, mm -hmm. which is some is main feature that I love about this because like guys, I really I use this phone as a business business phone uh, for my, my business and as far as like um productivity and all that stuff like, like this is a main reason why i don't need my computer because <laughs> like i open this thing up and i'm doing like one two things three things at, at once i look at my emails a lot i'm on the internet a lot on the while i'm on the phone and everything and um my main my primary phone that i use is actually the uh s22 ultra but um getting back to getting back to this phone guys that main feature with um your re you know opening your phone up and then opening recent apps and throwing up it makes multitasking a lot better now in summary is this a phone that that's worth upgrading honestly no <laughs> I don't, it's great you use yeah. a lot of the same it's it's pretty much the same exact so phone yeah. of the of the um fold three i would say for anybody that's wondering that's wanting to get start getting into the fold phones definitely the fold four because this is best basically the refined room. three, like refined, build, yeah, yeah, like the building, everything. Like it's it's refined. Got the, yet, the four is a great place. To yeah, start. Go, great place to start. I know me and you started on the three. We wanted to wait a two years on the, when the, you know the first one came out and the second one came out. We know there was a few issues, but when the three came out, we I, like that time we knew like right. you know to get into it and, and um Sometimes test it out. This phone again, that five is gonna be like perfect. Yeah, they seem they seem to make the major changes every like other it's year. The, with it's their mainly phones. the design they focus on each year. So yeah, like the five. Definitely, yeah, it's gonna have it's gonna have some major changes. I can't can't wait to see that. But yeah, guys, I mean that's that's pretty much it. Um, you guys want to look up our see our other videos that we have in relation to this phone. We're doing a uh, durability durability test of the Fold Three because uh, we had that basically for the for the whole for whole year now. Um, like I said, we're going to do, be doing a versus direct comparison of the Fold Three and the Fold Four, and then checking out the accessories as well for the um, the Galaxy Buds Two Pro. You guys want to check those videos videos out they will be in the link in the description and if you guys want to see more videos like this man um definitely hit us up with a subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when our videos come out but until then we'll see you guys on the next video peace